Anybody have one of these when you were growing up? It's not what you think. Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel and thanks for stopping by. Hey, today we are taking a look at a pager. Well, not really a pager, but something that looks and feels like a pager, but is actually a Bluetooth speaker. This is the Bump Box Pager. And, you know, I gotta be honest, when I saw this on the Bump Box website and I saw people, you know, putting it out there on social media, I had no idea what this was. And at first I was thinking, why would anybody want a pager anymore. I don't know, did you have a pager when you were uh, a little younger? I did, and I don't know why. Um, <laughs> I'm not a doctor, I'm not a surgeon, I don't need to be called to the emergency room to save somebody's life. It was just a thing to have back in the day, right? Before cell phones were a thing, people carried around these pagers and you could customize them. You could put different cases on them. You could have different models. And I'm sorry to say that I used one. Um, I was one of those guys that kind of just did what everyone else did. It was so ridiculous uh, because the only people that really, um, not I'm going to say texted, the only people that really ever sent me a page was my wife or my girlfriend at the time. Um, Maybe I had a couple of close friends that might have said something like that, like, hey, call, but that was it, okay? So this resembles the old school pager, and, but like I said, it is a, it's much more than that. And it's actually a really cool device. I have to say that this is, I've enjoyed using this. I've been using this for a little while now. Thanks out to Justin at Ride eBikes Hawaii for uh, sending one over for me to kind of play with. Um, I've taken it out on a couple of rides and I like it and, and I want to explain why. The first thing is that, I mean, it's a Bluetooth speaker. So basically you just connect your phone to this device and uh, you clip it. I usually, if I have like one of my rider bags or one of my backpacks that I'm using or a fanny pack, I usually clip it kind of close to here. So it's, it's a little close to your ear. You definitely want to have this close. You don't want to have this like down by your hip where a pager, you know, normally is at because I think that distance, it's a little far. And then you can listen to whatever you want to listen to on your phone, whether it's a podcast or some music. And it's just you can make it just loud enough that only you hear it. So it doesn't bother other people. And you don't have to worry about like what you're listening to. Right. Because, you know, maybe you don't want people to hear the swearing or whatever, you know, words are being said in the music. Or maybe you're listening to a controversial you know, type of podcast. People won't hear this. You'll hear it. But the people around you, you know, when you're passing by and all that kind of stuff, it's not very noticeable. So that's what I like about this. Uh, this thing also has a FM tuner. So you can listen to the radio if you want to. Uh, and I think you can also hook up some other device to it. It does have an auxiliary type of input here. And then you also have like this USB port and that's how you charge it. It recharges uh, via a supplied cable. And then you also in the box, you get like a, a, that auxiliary cable plus um, like a little wrist strap kind of thing and then the charging cable. So that's what comes with this bump box pager. Now, what's also kind of cool is that it does also have a light. So if you're if you need a, a light for any reason, you know, you're on a night ride or something, this is this might come in clutch uh, if you need to see something. But, you know, basically, that's what it is. It's just a Bluetooth speaker. And I kind of like it. Like I've been using AirPods and um, I like to listen to music or I listen. I like to listen to, you know, one of my favorite podcasts when I'm riding, especially if I'm riding, doing a solo ride and um, the, the only downside with that is that when you have two AirPods in, and, and I just have the regular AirPods, I don't have the AirPods Pro that really fits your ear tightly. I don't like that when I'm riding, but even with the regular AirPods, you're, it's still restricting, um, what's 
going into your ear because you have this thing blocking your ear and then you also have like you know sounds going into your ear and so it's it's not the safest thing so when you have a speaker like this a portable speaker that you can just put on your you know your shirt or your bag you know you're freeing up your ears to hear other stuff around you so there might be a car there might be a horn whatever you know any kind of um, traffic noise that you might come across when you're out on a ride you're still going to be able to hear it so i think that's where this thing shines all right to kind of show you guys what the bump box pager looks and sounds like i figured i'd take it out on a ride i'm out on the monza today and even though it's in January, today's a chilly day. Like I know um, all of you guys that are you know, on the mainland or in another country where it's freezing cold right now, you're probably laughing. <laughs> but for those of us in Hawaii, when the temperature's in, like I'd say it's gotta be about like it's like 71 right now it's kind of chilly i gotta say the wind's blowing it is it's still a little cool but anyway i wanted to go out on a ride show you guys what it was like uh to wear the bump box pager what it sounds like i do have the road mic here and so we'll try and check it out and see how it goes so this is my usual route i'm gonna cut in to the golf course or actually it's the not an abandoned golf course but what they did was they kind of decommissioned a golf course and it kind of turned it into a farm and now people use it for walking. So we're gonna cut in there. And so I can kind of turn on some music because right now ooh, the wind is blowing hard. So I think in the farm, it'll be a little bit uh, more sheltered. But anyway. And this will be interesting. We're gonna ride up onto the golf, the decommissioned golf course. Welcome to the jungle. <laughs> All right. So let's turn on some music. So this is at, how loud is this? I kind of have this up at about halfway on my iPhone. It's not meant to be loud. It's just meant for more like a personal, I guess, listening experience for you. Um, maybe if somebody is riding next to you, they might be able to hear it, but... <clears throat> Yeah, looks like a pager, feels like a pager, shaped like a pager, but it's just a Bluetooth speaker. And <clears throat> I don't know, it works. I usually will wear some sort of a bag. Like I'm wearing this, uh, my, um, the Kyan hydration pack kind of like a little mini backpack I really like this bag and I'll put a link up above if you want to see the review I did on this but if I'm gonna wear this speaker I'm usually gonna wear it with either this or I have a rider bag sling and that way I can keep the pager up near where my ear is at 
and so that I can still hear it. So it allows me to, to be able to hear my music or podcast or whatever I'm listening to. It's not super loud. And this is actually kind of loud. I usually won't listen to it this loud. This is a, just a different song on that play on that playlist. I'm gonna bring this down a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna kind of bring it to a lower level that I think is still good enough. So I'm not sure how that sounds on the mic. So again, uh, uh, it's not gonna be super loud and it's not meant to be like a big booming speaker like some people have when they do ride outs, you know, where they have maybe the JBL or, you know, some other speaker that's really cranking out, you know, their music for everybody else to hear around them. Again, this is more for like, just for you. Um, it's more meant to be something that just you can hear and it's not really meant for like a bunch of other people around you. Um, I wish Bernie was with me today so that I could put the mic on him and then kind of see like what he would hear. But well, maybe we'll have to do that on another ride just to kind of test that part out and see. But yeah, it's just meant for one person to use and I think it works really good. The battery is rechargeable. You just hook it up. Uh, via USB. Um, I'm not sure how many hours you can get off of this, but I'll look on the box and put that on the screen. So I will tell you one thing that I don't like about this. Um, the way that the buttons are here, um, there's a power button and I think I think there's a button for like volume and stuff. And I don't even know why it turned off right now, but see what happens is when you squeeze the clip, you kind of have to hold it here. And when you do that, it pushes the buttons. So not a good place for the buttons to be located because again, you know, you, you try to squeeze this and put this on, what's happening is you're pressing all the buttons. And I think I already just, I think it's on, but now it's like really soft. So it does have a um, volume up and down. Speaker is just right here on the front like that. But yeah, it works pretty good. So if you're looking for something that's gonna play your music or your podcast on a ride and you know you're not really hanging out with anybody maybe it's a solo ride you can just kind of put this up near your ear FM tenure. oh see it also even has a forgot about that it also has an fm radio anyway see look now i can't even See, this is what happens. Connected. See, look now, I can't even get this thing back on. So that is my one, one complaint about this thing. So bump box, if you're listening, maybe move those buttons so that when I'm, when you're, when someone is trying to like put it on and off, you don't have to worry about that. Anyway, that's the bump box. That's the bump box pager. And I think it works pretty good. I'm happy with it, despite the button placement. And it's safer. I think using a speaker like this is just generally safer just because you're not putting, you know, AirPods in your ear. Like I usually ride with AirPods. And in some of the places I've ridden on the mainland, they actually have laws in which you can't use uh, AirPods or headphones in your ear, or you can only use one. So this, this allows you to have your ears free. 
so you can hear everything around you and I think it works pretty good. Now it's not cheap. This thing is close to a hundred bucks. It is a little pricey. I will say that, but if you're looking for a speaker that's safer, that doesn't restrict your hearing in some way when you're on a ride, this might be the thing for you. If you're interested in one, you can check out Ride E-Bikes Hawaii. They're on Oahu. Um, he is an authorized uh, distributor or seller of all the bump, bo bump box products and um, he'll hook you up. All right. They come in lots of different colors as well. Lots of different styles. You can have some stuff with different printing on the front. Go check it out. You can also check out their website to see all the different models that they have. But I think it's a pretty cool speaker. All right. I'm not affiliated with them in any way. I'm not getting anything for this. Uh, this is just my honest review. Although I was provided this to kind of play with for free. Um, but I think it's a cool little device. And if you're interested in it, check out the links below. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Until then, hey, take care of one another, be safe, and aloha.